of, um, of why, of who gets to decide why, and who's affected by this, this strategy, which are not necessarily the same. And the rationales for why you would pursue this or any other strategy, those really depend on your vantage point, on the stakeholder. So uh, a shared values, ideally, are, are the goal, but you have to reach some sort of consensus about what the objectives are and what the objectives should be. So let's just do a little brainstorming about, about stakeholders. We're, so, all right, so in the arts and cultural sector, we have artists, we have arts and cultural leaders for organizations, we have other cultural workers, so people working in media, um, owners of for-profit creative industries, arts educators, and then of course the patrons and the participants. In the nonprofit arts sector, we've got merchants, chamber of commerce, if you think of one, you can just shout it out, uh, business improvement districts, Maybe there's a corporation that's interested in supporting a cultural district because they think that it might be a way to attract uh, the creative class, a highly educated workforce, or retain youth in the area. Um, developers, maybe they want to support gentrification and build some condos. <laughs> in the public sector, you know, we also have to run the gamut. You have from the local level to the state level. What's in it for the select board? What's in it for the town manager? Think about how the planning and economic development division might be interested, and, and then the arts council. So you have all of these different gamuts. Philanthropy, their foundations, private donors, corporate grants. And then, of course, last but certainly not least, community, the residents. Maybe it's not appropriate to think of residents en masse. Maybe there are really important differences in terms of socioeconomic uh, demographics that you have to think about. How large a catchment area are we talking about? Is this to serve people in the neighborhood? Is this tourism from New York City? Or is this for you know, the folks in, in your larger region? You know, what's, what would be the goals if you were to pursue this strategy? Um, historic preservation. So I just want to throw that one out because a lot of times there's a sweet spot. If you are pursuing more of a physical strategy, the historic preservationists get excited about a beautiful old building. You can fill it with arts and culture. And so they're oftentimes a natural ally. So ideally, you would try to engage all of these different folks in a visioning process. But if that's not practical or not feasible, try to put yourselves in their shoes and, and make, their be make best guesses about, about their interests. It's really about coalition building.